that. This is so much louder for me than it is for you guys. Please, mother of God. Please, please. I'm sorry. You guys have no idea. Here, let me do this for you. Yeah, that's what I was dealing with. If you guys still have a muted, a dulled down version of that, honestly. Honestly, it's not, it's not bad music. It seems to be it. Put everything down at once. Speech. Uh, I like subtitles on. That might be good. I don't know what this is. Alright, hello anyone and everyone. Welcome to Etrial Plays. The Captain is Dead. It is currently in beta, de developed and published by Thunderbox Entertainment. It came out, or coming out, start date 2021-32. Who knows when that'll be. Uh, it is your, it's the last 10 minutes of your favorite sci-fi TV show, except that this time... Things have gone seriously wrong. The captain is dead. The turn-based survival strategy puts you and the captain shares as you try to save the cr your crew from being blown to bits by aliens. All right, dude, let's do this. Tutorial? We haven't played this. Odds uh, is about 200 against one, 500 against one. Alerts. Okay, two against one, coward. Oh, wow. All right, so let's do a normal, let's do the tutorial. I decided an ad for this randomly, and I decided to sign up for it. Uh, nope. Oh hell yeah! Stop! Foolish human! You're not ready for this level of danger yet. If only you had an omnipotent intergalactic space wizard like me on hand to show you the ropes. Oh, all right then. I'll help you out. It looks like your ship has broken down. Oh dear. If you want to get out of here alive, your primary objective should probably be to repair the jump core. Jump core. Ship. How intriguing. You're about to experience your first alerts. Happy days. Although I should probably warn you, alerts are bad. Okay. 100%. Stand by for damage. Alright, that, that took a second. <laughs> They launch fighters. How adorable. Surely such a tiny little thing. Alien ships are bad. Tag can be by 10%. Alright. Oh, no thank you. Well, well. Your ship's systems seem kind of fragile. You'll probably want to repair that ASAP if you like being able to survive. All right. System damage is bad. Obviously. Gravity hey. schmavity. You don't have to worry about this lame old anomaly. You've got a fancy teleporter to zip about the ship with. Let's just hope it stays. Anomalies are bad. <laughs> Many things are bad. Well, I got a booty. How rude. Those aliens oh, that's my soldier. soldier in the face. She'll need to visit the infirmary to get that looked at. What's More than 12 you? aliens. Dead. Okay. All right. Ship is taking fire, and look, there's that fighter from before. It's adding to the damage. How annoying. Otherwise, dead. another. All right, shield go down, we die. Aliens I on board, we die. This may all 
be too much for your more than 12 aliens dead I just said that all gone dead I just said that jump call to 100% I didn't say that Live. got that good now on with the destruction Looks like more alerts are on the way, and they can really mess with your crew. We'll get back to them later, because the first thing you need to do if you want to survive is... No, your ship. Okay. Now, now, don't do anything rash. Take your time to assess the situation. Click and hold it. It's not so hard. Why not press and hold the other systems to learn more? External scanners. It's your funeral. Just hit the we'll reveal the next two alerts. You're ready to take charge of the crew. So we know what's gonna happen. Insecure earthlings. Your shields can't protect you from the horrors of space. Well, actually, maybe they can. As long as you don't let them fall below zero. Yeah. Verbal communication is so primitive. The comm system lets you transfer skills between crew members remotely. Knowledge is power, after all. Okay. Well, at least the captain <coughs> has some crafty battle plans in his journal. These can really save your bacon. So you'll want to use as many as you can. It's not like he'll be needing them now. That's true. How typically aggressive of your species. What do you know? There's that fighter again. Why not prove your superiority by blowing it up with a torpedo? Makes sense how to get rid of... Security? Don't make me laugh. Just because right, your ship has laser turrets in every room, it doesn't mean you're safe. All they can do is zap intruders. A computer? How quaint. Use the CPU to collect skills. Your crew will need them to do stuff. This seems like a lot. I don't even know what the gameplay is like yet. I don't even know what the gameplay is like. Why are humans so obsessed with toys? This cargo pod is full of high-tech tools and handy skills that may or may not help save your miserable crew. Call the real force. Yeah, that makes sense. Fragile. Look, your soldier has been injured. She won't be able to do much unless you fix her in the trauma station. Want beefier shields? Or perhaps more advanced sensors? Use arrow button to cycle the real upgrades. Luckily, if you need to upgrade right. the ship mid you humans, always meddling with things you don't understand. Sure, you can research anomalies here, but wouldn't it be safer just to stay at home in your own sector? Without your fancy teleporter, you'll have to walk everywhere, which can really suck up those actions. Exercise actions. is good for you, humans. So we have limited actions? Ah, the jump core. Looks like yours is busted. Boo -hoo. Get it to 100% if you want to live. Teleporter, jump core, upgrade anomalies, trauma's purple, cargo's black. Can't see that. Alright, we're fine. Chief Engineer! If something's broken, I'm your guy. Who is this up here? Chief Engineer. Now then, if you pay attention to the diagram above, you'll notice that Chief Action Engineer spends. has got four actions to spend, and not one, but two engineering discounts. So let's put them to good use. Discounts. Inventory and skill and tools that can be used. Selfie. Right. My mistake, mon ami. There's just Three. one last dreadfully boring diagram before we get cracking. Here are your basic moves you can do with just actions. No ship systems or skills required. Have a quick squeeze and then let's get to it. Shield add 70%. Okay, I didn't hear crew take an item. Okay. No more diagrams from now on, I promise. Let's spend one of those lovely actions to get Chiefy to the cargo hold. Just click on the room to beam her right there. Ready. Okay. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? What are you Your crew will there, always buddy? use the teleporter. Such a selection of gadgetry. Each one can be used twice, with a different effect each time. If you want to repair the jump core, why not grab a torch? Why can't I have a pistol Why, also? That was way loud. We have everything we need to repair the core now. Just click on engineering to beam we back can over do there. It. The jump core is the heart of the ship. 
You'll need to repair it to escape. How embarrassing. Even with the chief's engineering discount, we don't have enough skills. Hang on. Click on the torch to fire it up. Then well, torches repair ain't that just jump for crimp relay, you know. Is it? And then how do I? Oh. Yeah, it's a good thing I. Oh, that's where it signified that. Okay. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? The core has to be at one hundred percent. Ah, in Alien should be appearing, I bet. Unfortunately, the chief doesn't have any actions left, so it's time to end. I mentioned there would be more alerts. Your teleporter is going to blow, and remember that anomaly from earlier. It's about to make your life very difficult. Oof. Alright, scan over 30 damage to shield. This is, uh, Crimson Bridge will be injured. Alright, soldier. What am I doing with the soldier? Medic! Poor old Chiefy. She fixed the core, and all she got for it was an electric shock in the back. Let's hope the soldier fares a bit better, eh? She's exactly where she needs to be. So click on the... Those ill-mannered aliens have roughed up our girl. Hmm. Maybe she can use the security Did I forget to mention? You can't do anything with aliens in the room. In fact, your options here are limited to... A. Teleport away like a chicken. Or B. Punch them all in the face. Fortunately, option B. Justice is served. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded crew member. Unfortunately, you still can't use any systems because the soldier is injured. So let's get her to the infer- Well, that took way more actions than usual. That's increased gravity for you. But you made it to the infer- Sir, yes, sir! Well done, you. You humans seem to get injured an awful lot. Just go in the fire, it's fine. You can select any injured crew member in the infirmary and heal them right up. Back in action, I like it. There you are. All better. You might want to check the external scanners before you end your turn. I have a nasty feeling they might be about to blow up. A scan in time saves nine, as they say. Standing down. I'm not worried about that. Yellow alert. I hate to say I told you so. If only there was something you could do. But there is. With the soldier's command discount, you have enough skills to override the alert. Normally, you'd have to be quick about it, but I've frozen time. Oh, thank so you. You don't have to worry about that pesky countdown. Strength through superior fire. Outstanding work, soldier. Your quick thinking has saved the ship's scanners. Now, back to certain doom in the icy depths of space. All right. Cyborg. My cybernetic components safeguard. Finally, a life form with a bit of panache. Panache. His gravity was rather tiresome, wasn't it? Good thing the cyborg here is immune. Let's silence the heck out of that anomaly. To the CPU core! Yes. The computer is the best place to get. Uh -huh. Your internal sensors are on the fritz. You could chance it and grab a random skill from the computers, but why take the risk? That's, that's more like it. Best not to leave the. And take the only available thing. Great stuff. The terrifying and mysterious peculiarities of deep space are no match for you, are they? Let's zoom out and get to the science lab before another anomaly pops up, eh? How do I zoom out? Out? Oh. Yes. You could spend all those lovely science skills on a flashy system upgrade. That's the ticket. Who needs enhanced shields or predictive monitoring anyways? Select the increased gravity anomaly and then hit research to restore your ship's artificial gravity to a balmy 9.81 meters per second squared. Oh, okay. A simple oh. of quantum entanglement. Excellent. Normality has been restored. Now, assimilate the crew and take command of the ship. Just kidding. You're out of actions anyway. 
Why not just end your turn instead? Fine amount of actions. Uh oh. We no wait. Again, I really hope this tutorial covers torpedoes. It does not. Spoiler alert. It does not. All right. Counselor. When we work together, we can beat. Well, hello, counselor. Love the hat. I thought about. It. I looked that too. Forty percent, eh? Mm, that's not good. But it looks like you need one more tactical skill to repair them. Time to fire up the comms. Let's see now. Who has one of those little red tactical skills? Well, that's lucky. Our old pal Chiefy has one spare. Go back to we the can main do view. It. Click on her to Let's bring up her deets, baggage. then initiate a trade. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Chiefy. Try and keep the comm system operational. Otherwise, you'll have to be in the same room to trade skills. Now, get that fabulous hat to the bridge. Yes. So much movement. Well, well, that is one comfy looking chair. I can help. With what were that. we doing again? Oh, yes, repairing the shields. We don't want the them to run out to now, holding. do we? Otherwise, kaboom! Well done, everybody. Great work. I really mean it. Obviously, I can't take all the credit, but I'm going to anyway. I'm you would done. have been instant space dust without my help. Hit A, and we can... I can't help thinking that I've forgotten something important. Let me see. More than 12... What is it, buddy? ...dead. Shields below zero equals dead. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. No. Oh. Red alerts. Once you've exhausted boring old yellow and orange, you'll encounter the real bad boys. Just one of which could be instant death. Like that one right there. Okay. Um. Oh, stop complaining. In space, no one can hear you whine. You've just learned an important lesson. The cosmos is a dangerous place, and it really wants you dead. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard indeed to avoid ending up just like Mon Capitan. All right. There, is that better? I've restored the timeline back to before we start. That the captain? precious crew is safe for now. Feel free to destroy the ship. Mm. Oh, it's a deadly coward. And it was an easy classic is the same as a deadly coward. I guess only in odds of survival all right ladies and gentlemen this was admittedly the tutorial of the captain is dead but it's still a pretty fun game i um i would do more but it's already at 19 minutes and based off the tutorial being almost 20 minutes i don't think a real game would uh fit in this video but i'll you know i'll leave if you guys are adamant about seeing another you know, the captain is dead outside of the tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to like, and subscribe, all that nonsense down below. I will put a link to possibly signing up with this bad boy. Um, so far, pretty interesting to be honest. I, th I didn't think it would have actions like uh, XCOM style, style of movement. And uh, I honestly think that would be online. But I don't know. I suppose it's just like an XCOM. It's sort of like... FTL it feels like a FTL except yeah a weird version of FTL is what I'm taking except with movement speed so it's more about uh, 
strategizing about how you move in the ship as opposed to the actual choices you make in the roguelike. Pretty interesting, but I'm not going to try and stretch the video any longer. If you guys like the video, let me know down in the comments below. I will try and do another one following up a real normal game. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.